I couldn't even believe what I was seeing when I saw her like that. She's crying, very hard saying, it was all a mistake and it means nothing. Welcome back to They Did What, your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go over them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, gonna grow a story title. My wife, a 27-year-old female, is going on a work trip with an ex-friends with benefits. I, a 20-year-old male, find it concerning. And guys, this story is about a guy. He is 28 and she's 27. He's married to her for two years and they've been together for four. And long story short, his wife has this job where she has to go out of the country quite often. Like for a week or two every couple months. That's a lot. And long story short, he's very uh, concerned about this boss that she's traveling with. Because it turns out, back in the day, when she was first starting out, she was having an affair with him. Or friends with benefits. And she admitted this to him before they got together and all that. But claimed it's over. And he's moved to a different department and all that. And the guy's still, okay, fine. She's telling me about these things and being open and honest. you know. But still, in his gut, he knows something doesn't seem right. And this is an example of... A, always trust your gut. B, always look out for red flags. And C, he made a mistake rushing into marriage. He only knew her two years and got married. That's the worst thing you should do. You need longer than that. And he married her when he was 26 and she was 25. In my opinion, way too young. You need way more years with the girl getting to know her and also being older, more mature. A lot of people disagree with that. That's your business. But this has been my experience to see because People nowadays in their early, mid-20s, they don't have the same level of maturity that was going on when I was in my mid-20s. Absolutely. And I'm not, not all. There are exceptions, but generally speaking, I've noticed that. And anyhow, guys, you're going to see how this thing plays out. And ultimately, this guy, uh, well, turns out his gut was right and what he does with her and her meltdown and all that. So it starts off, he says here, My wife and I have been together for four years, married for two years. Smack! You should have been together with her at least four years. He considered popping the question. She works in an international consulting group, which means she's usually out of the country at least a week or two every couple of months. I don't mind since I, I like having time alone, some time alone, and playing video games or whatnot. She told me early on in our relationship that right before we started dating, she had a fling with her then boss. Well, what does that say about her when she's hooking up with her boss? That tells, that tells me that she's someone that sees her way of rising in a company is to let his, you know what, rise to the occasion. And he gets he gets something, she gets something. And if you think this is going to stop on her journey upwards, I don't buy that. That would have been a sign. Nope. Check, please. Date's over. She kind of regretted it, but he moved departments for unrelated reasons. <laughs> probably was harassing another woman. I know she didn't have to tell me this, but me being curious, asked more questions, and she told me that they once had SEX on a couple work trips and in the office. So, you know the saying, you can't turn an HOE into a housewife? On the trips, on vacation, doing this to help her move up in the company. She was 22 at the time, and now she realized how dumb it could have been. Well, not could have been, it was dumb. According to her, it was full, fully consensual. Now, five years later, her new boss retired and her previous Friends of Benefits boss took over. Oh, how convenient. I asked her how she felt knowing what took place and she didn't seem really concerned. I would have been like, well, not that I'd be in this situation, but at that point I'd be like, uh-uh. No. Look for a different department. Look for a different job. I don't want to hear your tantrums. I don't have you, hear you throwing a hissy fit. You're not going to have a boss who you're going away regularly, who you were hooking up with before when you're going away regularly. Not happening. But I wouldn't have been in this situation to begin with. Uh, they have a good working relationship, she told me, and what happened was a long time ago. Five years is not a long time ago. 25 years, okay, it's a long time ago, but five years, no. That guy's probably thinking, yeah, I'm still going to get this young piece of ass when we're going away to Mexico or Philippines or wherever the hell they go. About two weeks ago, she tells me she's going to the Philippines with him, potentially because a project there is behind schedule. They will fly there with a team of their co-workers to sort things out and be back in a few days. 
I feel a little on edge, but there's not really much to be suspicious about, so I just trust her. Smack. If there wasn't much to be suspicious about, why are you suspicious? She's been nothing but upfront and honest in our relationship. No, more like she's been making sure the lines of communication has been going, but she's controlling the narrative and the communication that's going there. Remember, women can be master actresses and really can plan these things through. Now, a week out, she tells me the plans have changed. Ah, imagine that. It's just her and him going together, and the other people had obligations. Oh, that's... Booking a flight to the Philippines, that's not cheap. And the hotels and the accommodations, I have to wonder if they weren't going along to begin with. She warmed up with the idea of just the, of the whole group going and then changed the mind at the last minute because, of course, she's being honest with you. That's what I think. <clears throat> it's now going to be longer than a few days, and she told me he asked her if she wanted to stay an extra day to go snorkeling. Now suddenly the trip is longer. I froze for that moment and completely agreed to it. I don't think she posted it in, an early, in a question earlier. Only after this conversation did I think what she, of what she actually said. Now I'm worried after I started thinking about their past and how they will be in a tropical location together and drinking as well as even snorkeling. Well, nothing gets the hormones going like snorkeling. I feel jealous and insecure and almost want to ask if she would consider staying home. Uh, on the other hand, during the four years of being with her, she's never given me any reason to not trust her. Well, she's always been telling you things about select things about her past and all that. Yes, again, she's controlling the narrative. Get communication, but what she chooses to include the communication. <clears throat> she's even been very honest about this trip. No, she's not. I feel like I should let her go and trust her. I don't want to be the jealous husband who's trying to prevent her from cheating and messing with her career. If she really wants to cheat, she can no matter what if I try to stop it. Is this thinking off base or should I confront her now? Well, the thing is this, is that he married her and she had this career and he shouldn't have gotten with her saying that she slept with the boss and all that. And it, if let's just say that she tells him this, I would have been like, well, if we're going to be together, you're changing jobs and you're not going to work on the same place. And I don't care if he's at the department on the 20th floor and you're on the 19th floor. No, 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 no. Or you're on the second floor. You're changing jobs. And I have communication with him again. But even then, I'd be concerned as she she banked, she slept with her boss to obviously move up in the, in the in the company. What's to stop her doing again? I mean, come on here. And with regards to this, he is right. He if she's gotta cheat, she's gotta cheat. There's nothing he can freaking do about that. I mean, unless he like locks her in the freaking basement or something like that. But what he can do is simply say, like, look, I don't like this whole thing. You told me what happened in the past. No. Not happening. I want you to put your, find a look, another job, your notice, all that. But, well, ultimately she goes on this trip and watch what happens. He says here with the update. He says, so the update everyone didn't want, including me. She cheated on the trip. Huh, imagine that. When I wrote the post that she had already went to the West Coast to spend time with her family, what I, what, let, me, let me backtrack here. When I wrote the post, she had already went to the West Coast to spend time with her family before continuing on her work trip. So I really didn't have time to talk to her about it. Ah, okay, so she was already gone when he wrote that post. So there's nothing he could have done about it at that point. I decided to let her make her own decisions and live with whatever she chooses to do. She went, texted me like normal, acted like normal. She said she loved me, called me. Obviously, I'm worried, but I decided to just trust her. She came back and acted completely normal. Actually, more loving and caring than she usually was. Seemed happier, to be honest. Sounds like love bombing. A lot of times when these gals cheat, they then bombard their guy with attention and affection to, like, throw him off. A couple weeks go by, and I'm messing around on her phone, looking at all her pictures, including from her trip. I'm not even thinking of snooping as she's right next to me. I joke around and click on a recently deleted picture and she freaks out and grabs the phone from me. What are you freaking out about, honey? Just a phone. You're an honest, loving wife who's been so open and honest and great communication all along. What's the problem? I immediately get suspicious. She's obviously trying to hide the phone. She said it's her private phone. I say I need to see the phone now. 
She starts crying and saying no. Of course, crying? Because you want to look at uh, some pictures? What's, what's to cry about, honey? Arguing goes on for a while, and it's exhausting and so hard. I already know what happened, but now she's trying to trickle truth it and saying something about a photo on her phone that was an accident, which makes zero sense. An accidental picture, huh? I stay firm and say, I need to see the phone. After probably an hour or two of arguing, she finally hands me the phone and unlocks the recently deleted photos. This dude is persistent. An hour or two of back and forth arguing until finally she gave the phone. Good Lord. Now listen to this. I lock the phone, and then I see a ton of nude photos of her obviously taken by him in bed and in compromising positions, even some including him and her in bed, naked, including a couple of the SEXX. I couldn't even believe what I was seeing when I saw her like that. She's crying very hard, saying, It was all a mistake, and it means nothing. So this is Miss telling, being a great communicator and being honest and open and all that. And here you go. What I say about the freaking boss. He's back. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm getting this young little piece of ass. She's still, she's still in her 20s, so I'll still have fun with her. There you go. He, his gut was right. You always trust your gut, guys. And now she's crying. It was all a mistake. This is, again, more... This this is like the, the old, it was a mistake, it means nothing. That's like... Chapter 3 of the Hobag Handbook, what they say. They got, they all got that book that has lines for every possible situation and bullshit on top of bullshit. I asked for the full truth eventually. You ain't getting the full truth, brother. She then told me some BS story where it, se- where it seems like a drunken mistake. That's Chapter 4 of the Hobag Handbook. This pissed me off even more as it's obvious that wasn't the case. To me, it looks like this was a full-blown affair. How would you have this on your phone from a one-night stand? The stories keep changing, classic trickle truth. Even bringing up how I joked about an open relationship at one point. Yeah, he probably joked about it, and then she's like, well, he's said open relationship. Here's what I think. I think she's been having the affair with that guy the whole time. But married this guy, the nice guy, to settle down because her, her boss probably was her bad boy. That's what I think. And it didn't make a difference if he's up on the 20th floor and she's on the 5th floor of the building. How it means nothing and she was having a midlife crisis. Midlife crisis, she's 27. That's not midlife. I'm 45. I'm midlife. How she felt I wasn't interested in SCX and this was just something to get off an attention, off on attention and it didn't mean anything, etc., etc. Not interested in the SCX, well, because you're never around. You're busy getting sausage from your fucking boss. She was unable to actually give me an honest account of what happened. This is despite me actually having a slight desire of wanting to forgive her. Smack! Don't start with that simp bullshit. All I wanted was full honesty, and she can't even do that. I think probably because she knows full honesty would be unforgivable. Yeah, because then then, he'd, then she'd have to tell him that she got up the butt or something, and he'd freak out. I decided to stay with some family in the meantime. She keeps blowing up my phone and wants to try counseling. Of course she does. I'm pretty sure this is the end. I don't know if I need a lawyer as she is very wealthy and I have nothing. I don't want anything from her. So that's where I am right now. I want to post this to let other people know this this stuff is possible. And even though you could fully trust someone, they can have the capability to lie straight to your face. If I didn't see the pit, the phone, I think I would have never known that she was smart enough to actually permanently delete her nudes with her boss. So that's where his story ends. And what, in my opinion, what this guy should do is immediately, he's staying with family for now. That's good. He's getting out of there. Get away from her. And I would, if I were him, I'd talk to a lawyer, ASA fucking P, and find out all your options, good, bad, or ugly. In fact, I would try to talk to every single attorney in town because once you talk to them, then she can't go to them and find out your options. But if this woman makes more money than he does, if she's very wealthy, as he says, and he didn't come he didn't come into the marriage with a bunch of asses, but she did, and there's no prenup, hey, he's got plenty of reason to uh, get a little pay, payday from this. And you know what? He has every right to. He says he doesn't want anything from her, but why should he? He's, he wasted four years of his life with her, two married, two before, and she pulls this shit. And I do believe, I do believe that in some states, 
some guys are sued for ruining marriages. This boss could be sued. And I'm sure it goes against their corporate guidelines that he's banging his employee. So he could get the guy fired. He could probably sue him for multiple reasons. So there's a lot of options here. And that a good attorney would be more than happy to fill him in on. But he should not walk out of this not getting something. Absolutely. And again, if she comes from money and she has assets, because let's be honest here, if the situation was reversed, you tell me that she wouldn't uh, go go uh, go uh, full nuclear on him? Oh, hell no. Believe me, she'd be getting some pay. So I think this guy should as well. But again, this, guy's, this, this shows you about trusting your gut. Pay attention to red flags. If something doesn't seem right, listen to your gut. I wish him the best. Now, real quick, some comments before I wrap this video up. One guy says here, he says, you, at a very minimum, should be should uh, consult with an attorney. Don't cut off your nose to, to spite your face. Additionally, just because she's wealthy doesn't mean she would, wouldn't would still want whatever you may have or make the process purely contentious and try to int intentionally screw you over. For example, if you're in a community property state, she may be entitled to any pension accounts or retirement funds you set up for yourself during your marriage. It is always, a, always, always a good idea to know your rights. At the end of the day, this is the discussion of legal contract and having an expert legal advice can only be your advantage and protection. Right. Talk to a lawyer. Another guy says, here, depending on the jurisdiction, you may be entitled to alimony, considering it penance for her infidelity. I understand that as I too have been cheated on in a way that would drive most uh, men to horrible lengths. If I can go back and teach my ex a, a lesson on how horrific her actions could play on another person's psyche, I would. You don't have to be malicious, but you can you can be just especially you can be especially if you have virtually nothing on your name in comparison to your wife. You deserve to move on and move out with ease. You have done nothing wrong. Yeah, he has done he has done nothing wrong, and I'm still convinced that this affair with his boss has been going on far longer than he thinks. You know, one night thing or drunken mistake, like she said, my butt. At last, when this guy says, "Sorry, my friend," she is for the effing streets. Let her return to where she belongs, the sewers, the gutter. This is where she feels at home. Her sense of belonging is there. Or her livid experience. Let her return. Do not take her back. Expose her. Let the world know what you've seen. Well, you can tell people, but don't do that social media stuff because that's just childish. That's what women do. And this is the warning for the crap advice she may have seen when you initially asked. Probably people calling you a controlling, insecure husband. All that BS. This is the cautionary tale. I hope, above all, you walk away from this with your head held high, my friend. You can get over this. You will get over this. Right. He's with her. He married her. He's married her two years. With her for four years. Still, that's no. That's not a day. But you know, he'll, he'll get over it. He needs to work on himself. If he doesn't work out already, go to the gym. I recommend this all the time. Or get exercise. Riding your bike, going for a jog, hell, walking your dog, lifting weights, anything. Get moving. You'll feel better. Taking it day by day, but he should absolutely get something out of this marriage. He he freaking deserves that. She needs a little, she needs to have a little punishment going on for her actions because she's a piece of shit. Absolutely here, and I don't know about his side of the story, but it doesn't seem like this guy was doing anything to cause her to do that. This is just who she is. And again, like I said, any gal that's sleeping with her boss to move up that says a lot about her character. I don't care anybody fucking says. Now some people could say maybe she was pressured. Yeah. If it's one-time thing, one can make the case about pressure. But if it's an ongoing thing in the past or in the present and the future, that's something else. She does what she's doing. She's one of those. That is not girlfriend material, most certainly not wife and future mother material. So, and you know what? Yeah, it sucks to happen. Married her two years, but he could have been with her for another 10 years and found that out then. And it could have been going on the entire marriage. So, better now. Cut your losses move on. He will be okay. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below and think about this. And be sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.